Namaste, I'm Dr. Saperna, and today we are exploring chanting as a form of vibrational therapy to help us heal from our attachments to suffering when we encounter situations in our lives that bring us frustration. Chanting mantras can be healing physically and emotionally for several reasons that I explore in my workshop entitled Understanding the Importance of Self-Compassion, an Eastern Approach to Peaceful Transitioning, which you can learn more about on my website, spiritualdrip.guru. Mantras, or simple chants, are short phrases packed with energy and intention. Sanskrit mantras are um, specifically designed to generate powerful sound waves that promote healing, insight, creativity, and spiritual growth. Repeating a mantra over and over is known as chanting. Because my workshop focuses on self-compassion for healing, both in my workshop and in this video, we will be drawing from Tibetan Buddhism and chanting the mantra of Kuan Yin, Om Mane Padme Hum, which is an incredibly beautiful mantra, which can be thought of as a vehicle intended specifically for creating a compassionate relationship with the totality of yourself. Kuan Yin is always present when this prayer is spoken. And in my personal healing journey as a survivor, um, recent survivor of human trafficking, I have chanted her mantra so many times. And in working with Kuan Yin as an Ascended Master Mentor, she has helped me and I'm so grateful to develop a relationship with my own anger in dealing with grief and the aftermath of trauma. And in so doing, um, I've learned to embrace uh, my anger as a part of who I am, while at the same time learning how to turn down the volume to that anger. And chanting this mantra is how I'm learning to do that. Although it's not necessary for the technology of sacred sound um, to be effective uh, for you to have to understand what the Sanskrit syllables mean, it does help us as individuals to remain focused and to be more engaged if we understand what we are chanting. Om in Om Mani Padme Hum is the sound of creation um, coming into form. Chanting Om helps to rid your mind of self-hating and self-sabotaging thoughts and it helps to remind you that beyond your human ego, um, beyond your pride and self-serving interests that comprise our individual personalities, we are all divine beings and we have all been made in the image and likeness of God and herself. Mani means jewel and it helps us to realize that uh, we are a jewel of perfection, being perfect, whole, and complete, just as we are right now in this very moment, while at the same time knowing that we can always be a better and higher vibrational version of ourselves. Chanting Mani helps to reconcile our human consciousness with accepting that we are not the thoughts and actions of our ego, but that we are in fact divine beings and we have the choice to act in accordance with the higher version of ourselves at all times, because the power to choose is the greatest gift that we have been given by God herself, second only to that of life itself. Padme means the lotus and it represents the blossoming of your human consciousness um, to an expanded container of wisdom, meaning that you are able to appreciate a situation from a variety of perspectives and not just the limited and often narrow-minded um, perspective of victimhood born out of insult and injury to the more subtle aspects of the ego. Whom is the sound of compassion that releases you from your attachments to suffering by honoring the totality of your human nature, understanding that embodying lower vibrational versions of yourself and thinking and acting in ways that were not in alignment with your higher self as you heal and grow is necessary to grow and is part of what you signed up for before you were even born. 
home helps you to release yourself of the guilt, shame, and self-blame of, of past mistakes. The intention when we chant this mantra should be to remember that healing is to become whole. And as we chant, we tune into that resonance, the frequency of this divine union taking place. This divine union being the union of our conscious mind with the unacknowledged shadow aspects of our individual personalities. And while we chant this mantra, our intention should be to unite our mind with pure sound to symbolize this divine union occurring within ourselves. The Sanskrit symbols in Kuan Yin's mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum, come from a place in our hearts that's deeper um, than our thoughts and deeper than our emotions. And as we bring our attention to these beautiful Sanskrit syllables, it brings out in us what they symbolize. Getting lost in the chant is a way to let go and gradually the presence, the hidden meaning of the syllables that we are chanting begin to reveal themselves within us. We don't make it happen, we don't force it to happen, and we don't create it. And the, the miraculous changes that unfold when we incorporate chanting into our daily practice become inevitable. When we open ourselves up to the power of healing through sacred sound, we are simply revealing and recognizing qualities that have always been present within us. And as Krishna Das said, that when we chant, we simply remove the dust from what has already been there underneath that has been lying dormant. When we chant, we're simply removing the dust on the mirror of our hearts and of our minds. With all that being said, please join me in chanting Om Mani Padme Hum 108 times. Oh, 
Oh, my God. 